before starting the review, I want to show you how great the packaging is. I mean, look. It opens like this. I like this. And you even get manuals, which is rare on the PS4. How cool is this? Mafia Definitive Edition is amazing. The remake really is a remake. The game went from looking like this to looking like this. There are so many improvements in the game, it makes the first game feel sloppy in comparison. In the shooting parts, you can now cover, which makes things way more easier. Before you had to hide behind something. But now, you can cover, which is a big improvement if you've struggled in the shootouts when playing the old version. In the remake, you can change cover and even pivot around cover. The hand-to-hand -hand combat is also way better. You can now counter and punches connect more consistently than the slap contests you had in the original version. Driving is also better. The notoriously difficult driving of the original Mafia has been redone. You still feel that the cars are from the Prohibition era, they don't have good brakes, taking you big distances to brake and stop, they still need big spaces to turn, but even if they retained part of their vintage feel, they are much more easier to maneuver when driving, especially compared to the original. Also you get markers on the road to show you the way, they are very classy and blend in very well with the environment while also being visible enough. And this is a bigger improvement than you might expect. In the original game you had to keep pressing tab to get the map that was covering the entire screen, reducing your visibility drastically. Also in the remake, we finally have a true minimap. The first one was kinda useless when driving. It wasn't showing you the cops right, nor the road, nor the map in general, nor your waypoint. It was almost useless. The only thing you could rely on with the minimap was that it was showing you the enemies. You can also tweak your experience. The best part is that you can now choose if you want the cars to behave realistically and drive bad because cars in that period had poor handling or you want the cars to handle like in normal video games. Also you can tweak the police response if you want it to be more video game like or you want more of a simulation. Though I've noticed that while all these settings are different depending on your choosing, there is no difference between simulation and regular driving. Except for the formula race. There's the only place I've noticed some difference between the two settings. But in rest, I haven't noticed any difference between the simulation setting in driving and the normal driving mode. I like that the game came with a truckload of improvements and that the old school gameplay is still noticeable, even with those improvements. For example, you don't get regenerative health, you have to collect medicine in levels to get more health. And even the story, even if it's the same as in the original, it has some parts remade. Don't worry, the story is the same, and even the mission structure. You still go to Vincenzo before each, each mission to give you new weapons, and you still get the same key moments. Dialogue lines have been re-recorded and some parts of the story were slightly altered to give a more cohesive and personal feel to the story. It's less rigid than the original. Gameplay wise, you still get the same missions as in the original. The same varied missions, where you get stealth missions, chases, shootouts, which you will have more than enough in the second half of the game. The first half of the game is more varied than the second half. In the second half you can expect at least one shootout in every mission. In the original, this was a nightmare since you didn't have a cover system. But with the remake it's good, especially when you see the destructible environments when shooting enemies. Another small detail is that cars have different stats. And you can see NPCs use turn signals when changing directions. The game is amazing. It manages to keep what was awesome about the first game. It removes the annoyances from the first game. Gives a more modern look and feel to the game. While also remaining and reminding you of that OG game. Mafia 2 is a masterpiece. And the definitive edition can't change that. Cars handle better, you can even use the handbrake to drift, 
you get more stuff to do than in the original mafia. You can buy clothes or food, you can refill your gas tank, you can rob shops. And if you destroy your car, Vito gets out of the car and tries to fix it. There are so many subtle and more obvious improvements. A big leap is that Mafia 2 brought a cover system and regenerative health and the variety in missions. The variety in missions is way better, is way bigger. If in the first Mafia the second half revolved more around shootouts, Mafia 2's story remains varied through and through. But even if the base game is a masterpiece, and the definitive edition can't change that, I can't remain silent about how bad the port is. The PS4 version doesn't deserve the title of definitive. Definitive means something that is finished. This port doesn't feel finished. You can play it from start to finish, but with plenty of glitches. In some occasions, NPCs have weird behavior, jumping fences, or not even giving a damn when you are close to them with the car. There is a lot of texture popping that makes you feel like you are getting out of the animus, like you are playing an Assassin's Creed game. One time a mission has failed, because the AI was so stupid it committed suicide. In one cutscene the character's eyes got stuck and he kept looking sideways like this, which ruined the experience. It was snowing in tunnels, so even if the game still is Mafia and has the same amazing top-notch atmosphere as the original, the port has plenty of problems that ruin the immersion. Also on the PS4, no further attention to detail was put. Even if the PS4 is more capable and they could have programmed new stuff, they didn't. For example, when there is snow, characters don't leave footprints in the snow and other minor stuff that would have made the masterpiece even more amazing. What is worse is that not only that they didn't add new stuff aside of the glitches, but the port also has frame rate issues. There are times and plenty of times when the game runs choppy or has frame drops or even crashes. So in a nutshell, Mafia 2 Definitive Edition is the complete package. The masterpiece experience from Mafia 2, with glitches added, and all three DLCs. Oh, and you get Tommy's car and suit. Mafia 3 is a great game, but it's a missed opportunity. What kept me hooked in the game was the story. I liked it. It kept me wanting more. I wanted to see what happens next. And after finishing the main story and the DLCs, I'm happy that I've played the game. It was solid. The only real problem I had with the game is that it's very repetitive. You end up doing the same thing for 20 hours, and that is bothersome and annoying. You get to kill or subdue someone or steal something, anyway, whatever you do, you end up doing the same thing. Drive to the zone with enemies, and there you can either stealth kill your way to the target or you can shoot your way to the target. Sounds good? Well, the gameplay is indeed well done, but doing the same stuff for 20 hours isn't fun. But as I said, I played the game for the story and it was worth it. Lincoln takes on the Mafia almost by himself, killing capos and other people from the system, he even goes after KKK members. Also the atmosphere in the game is unique. The game gets way past a simple revenge story. No. The game can be considered a social commentary on post-Vietnam America. Also the game tries out a location few games have. It's a replica of New Orleans, a fictional city called New Bordeaux. And at first I didn't like it. It feels too generic. But after playing more, the generic look was what made it so special. It looked plausible. Also it's amazing how much content you get. The story is pretty lengthy, taking you around 20 hours to finish, and along the story missions you also get plenty of optional missions that grant you more money if you do them. Sounds cool, but in this game you don't really have options to spend your money. Sure, you can buy guns, but you'll still earn more than enough money from story missions alone, making the optional missions less attractive since they don't reward you. Money in this game is always more than enough from just playing the main story alone. Also one thing that stands out during the playthrough is that the game is glitchy. 
There are textures popping all over, cars that go into the air or explode randomly, or objects that just fall into the map. Also the killing animations don't look that good. Enemies fall in weird ways. The animations don't look always natural. The game has multiple endings, which is nice, and one small detail I liked is that in this game you don't get chased by the police for speeding, like you would have been in Mafia 2 for example. Here you can drive like a maniac, the police won't be chasing you for it. Also the DLC, Sign of Times, comes with a solution to the repetitiveness, by introducing detective parts in the game. They are the typical detective gameplay, but no matter that it feels typical, it makes the gameplay more varied. In fact, this DLC manages to make the game significantly better, not only that the story is good, but you get a side of the stealth and gunning sections, detective work, scenes where you hallucinate, destructible environments, and quick time events, showing that if they would have put this stuff in the main game, it would have been better. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.